Good morning. I come to share a weekly word with you, and this week's word is yard dog, house dog. Have y'all ever just stopped to think about the difference between a yard dog and a house dog? Let me tell you, the yard dog is just thrown out there. It may have a dog house, may not. Often exposed to the elements all seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. They may get food, but oftentimes their food is just thrown out in the yard. Might fall in the dirt. Maybe a prepared steak, but the steak has dirt. And although they'll eat it, wouldn't you rather have a steak without the dirt? They may get a bath, but they're getting a bath with the holes. Whereas the house dog, they may get scraps from the table, but their scraps is usually just the bones left over from the meat that has been eaten. Whereas the house dog is oftentimes getting up where the owner's preparing chicken breast for them. Even a steak, the steak that is prepared is put in a bowl. The bath they get is in a warm uh, shower. They're often, if they get rattled by anything, they're often able to get up in the owner's bed or get up on the owner's lap or even have a comfy bed and sometimes a room provided for them. Are you allowing your life to be as a yard dog? Do you want that for your life? Do you allow other people to treat you like a yard dog? You are enough. You are worth it. And I'm here to tell you, God is that house. He will provide in the rain and in the storms. He will provide dryness. Come on in the house. When you're in depression, he will provide peace and comfort. When you in trouble and going through trials and tribulations, he will be with you through it and provide a way out. When you lonely and don't seem like you have a friend, he is a friend to the friendless. Come on in the house. When you feel like you're motherless and fatherless and sisterless and brotherless, God can be all of that for you. Come on in the house. You deserve that. You are worthy. And God don't make no junk. And I want to leave you here today with this uh, scripture I, I heard this morning was Hebrew 13, 5 and 6. I will never fail you or abandon you. And you can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper and the Lord is my strength. God is your house today. And he wants you to come in. Don't settle for being a yard dog. I want you to know you're loved. I love you. But God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And y'all have a great, blessed, and beautiful week. Love you much. Bye.